Let's farm up a little bit. We'll see if we can get a gank. And Invictus Gaming focused primarily on taking out the tier 1 towers and restricting the Dread Ranger's farm space. Because I can tell you right now, if you give 10 minutes of space for Black to farm up, and he doesn't get really, really pressured, the game is basically... I'm not going to say done. The range will be exactly where she used to be. And Urshak will be the final selection. That's to keep IG out. That's the primary control job of Urshaker. Not to mention with the Big Chen army, if IG try and breach high ground early, you're gonna ha you can just drop the slam. Yeah, I like both these drafts. I think it can go either way. Um, it's really gonna come down to the Chen pressure early, like you said, and how much they can stop Drow from getting farm. But even if she does get a lot of farm early, as long as they're kind of trading equally and they get fast blinks, fast blinks on both Panda and uh, Barrier can do a lot of work this game. Have a quick pause. So, our laning wise, let's run through this so we can get ourselves a bit of a, uh, a feel for it all. So, we'll be super taking up the role as the Viper, Wraith Band early, so that'll be a mid solo him. Ice 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 with a, tang a set of tangos, a salve, and a stout shield and 135 gold spare. That'll more, more than likely be an off lane Lycan which then puts Black into the safe lane. He also, also went Wraith Band and Tango, so maybe they might mix it up a little bit. FY, the Visage, and that leads Fenrir as the Earthshaker with a very, very cool totem. Whatever the hell is that totem? It's, uh, it's a genuine golden uh, gravel maw. He's got 96 Fissure Stuns with this little sucker. Uh, they're going to come into the high ground. Now, they're worried about this, but they move as five. And they're going to find one too. June, they need the Fissure. They need a Fissure to actually block him off right now, but he's already in a Firefly. This will actually make it a little bit more difficult for June to uh, at least have some lane presence because he won't have sticky napalm. And he just hides on the cliff point. So they don't see him coming down. They, they kind of know he's there. And then finally yeah. they get an attack into him. But he's trying to scout for their ward placement with his Firefly Vision. So that's why they're waiting to place the sentry. Uh, they're, they're taking out the tree and throwing it up on the high ground. And he can't scout for that for a little bit. And then they block up the other one. Yeah, there is no stacking. Chorn, even actually having observable, so even if they remove, uh, oh, is that in range? Uh, that's actually so close, I can't tell. It's right on the line. I, I think it is. They need the Firefly to check it, which I, she's already I'm bottom. I'm gonna try and use perspective camera. I can't zoom. No, no. It really looks 100% on the line. I at least find the one on the, on the first camp. Actually, he's got doubled with that. Yeah, she managed to pick up the Observer Ward. I was about to say, with that Observer Ward, he wouldn't be able to, uh, with the Sentry Warding, de-warding, he wouldn't be able to get rid of the Observer Ward and the Sentry. So they're actually able to get rid of Yeah, that was kind of a weird sentry. spot for the OBS because you'd think that he would Sentry Ward that camp if he bought He got Mud Golems. <laughs> oh, after that successful de-ward, it's so depressing when that happens. <laughs> Poor little guy. The Hal bonus damage on, on FY means that with Grave Chill, he can just zone, zone out June. This one I wasn't as sure about like the Batrider selection. I can understand the logic for it, but I don't see him having any kind of presence in the lane. Just because of the buff up. That's really yeah. difficult to battle. That's true. We also saw like the Viper versus Panda mid matchup already and how that went last time, and that was without having Howl. So mm -hmm. uh, if it goes similar to last time, that will not be good. But I think Ferrari will do a little better this time. I think he just had kind of a bad game. Everything was not working out well for him. June's got one big thing going for him, Denied. and that's the fact that uh, the sentry wards were all expended doing the blocks. Which means oh, they, yeah. can't get rid of this, they can't get rid of the Observer while they're doing the pull. So Black's having some real trouble throttling this lane up against the Batrider, allowing him down to get two levels. The downside, though, is Batrider can't contest all the stacks and, and leech the experience. Yeah, the P's just come up from Fenrir saying that camp is, is blocked. Which means VG Gaming, they have to be very up in the face of June. They can't just hold back. They must be attacking directly. Yeah, he's gonna get a lot if they don't buy more sentry wards. I think they they might check to see if it's blocked again and then buy them, but they really need to get some sentry wards and get to that. Because they should assume it's an observer ward block, just because usually that's what the off has. Yeah. They're actually stacking elsewhere. Fenrir just did a double stack of alpha wolves and centaurs. So he did, he did the other camp. And Dro Ranger can kite that out quite nicely. The be beautiful thing about cold arrows. When they get up into high levels. Now, I saw science on this offlane like, and it's 
I do not recall. My brain has no flagging memory of the last time I saw an offlane like it. How is he meant to play this lane? Um, I mean, he's against the Death Prophet and Rasta, so he's really not in that much danger as long as the Chen isn't there. And they have, like... They don't really have vision on him, but he would... I mean, he's just been doing it. He's just been pulling the creeps back behind the tower and farming. He's doing fine. He's actually doing great. It's mainly, like, the main purpose of it is just to howl your teammates, obviously, and give them the extra lane presence, like you were saying before. So as long as he's doing that, he's doing his job. If he's getting this much farm, then he's really happy. They're drawing a gank pattern. Or they're trying to decide where they want to go. Looks like they're going on I mid. Mean, they have a net creep and a uh, Rasta level two on Rasta level three on Chen. It's a lot yeah. of burst damage. Super if they get this net, he should die. Now. Uh, the troll trap is going to get him. Ferrari with the clamp. This should be the first blood going the way here of Invictus Gaming with the clamp, with the nuke. He'll get his stick charges off. But the damage into Chorn also not going to be enough. 1 to 0 in favor of Invictus Gaming. The first rotation now from Chen being a successful one. And Ferrari finally getting some more space here in this mid lane. Yeah, if you get like level oh, manage like this on Viper, it's really bad. I, I thought for a moment he found the stacks. He walks out of the jungle with level four. I don't know if those camps were, were those camps stacked up. I don't think it was because he just stacked. Actually, it might have been stacked once. He stacked that once, and then I think he might have stacked that once. Mm. Which means uh, Tune now has got himself some really good experience in gold from that. On on the back of actually getting the uh, the mid kill. And so far, Lycan, not really a presence anywhere else. Well, he's just sitting up here on the top lane. He's holding onto the Howl until there's a really good chance to kill off somebody. With the double damage in the Visage, on, on the Visage. They're hoping to catch someone on this bottom lane, but June's backed up all, all the way. But at the same time, I suppose I should still go back to what I said before. You have a Dro Ranger free farming. And it's a Dro Ranger who did buy a Wraith Band early on, probably expecting a little bit more uh, damage coming the way of Black. But he's going to build into a Hand of Midas as his first item here. So let's just rush the levels. Which means also when Chen comes in to try and gank up, it won't be as successful. He'll lose one of these creeps at the start of almost every single fight. Are they trying to bait middle lane? There's how damage which can come out from Snoopy. He's not level 6 yet, so they can't kill Ferrari. At the same time, Ferrari's also going to get closer and closer to level 6. Which means that gank's not going to work unless they get, like, the perma stun. Which a fidget really isn't enough for that. Denied. No. So down the bottom lane. Got a movement coming out from FY. Seeing June in the corner. And they might be able to get him, get a kill out. No, he's, he's already got the firefly up. But see, if they can gust him before he's able to get the firefly straight up, they could slow him down, pump in enough damage to kill him off. But they won't find that opening. The Firefly gets burnt. AKA okay, yeah, he can't use it anymore to farm up at all. And Super still being very over aggressive on Ferrari. Fenrir hasn't budged in like a minute now. <laughs> He's just sitting here in mid lane. While the Wolves are watching Chuan as well as our Chispug move themselves down towards that bottom lane area. Chuan needs a little bit more life points. Yeah, they're going to smoke up. The Wolves are right behind him. They saw the smoke coming. That's why FY is just standing here right in front of the, on, on the high ground. So when they came up, you'll be able to reveal them. But because June's making his move up, they're realizing they're going to bail out of here. The wolves will pass out. That should have been flagged by IG. Because you can see the corpses of them. Now, sup Super being initiated on. The feature already being used by Fenrir as well. And Super really going to try and back up. He gets the ulti off on the Shadow Shaman, which means if Hershen gets just one attack in, he'll get the kill right now. Chispug, the TP back to base. He's actually going to survive through that damage. Well, the Viper has already gone down. Set a blast into Fenrir. One last Fissure. But it doesn't affect Chuan who can keep attacking through the tree line. The Ferrari with the Haste Room moving very, very quickly. Now over towards FY. The Haste Room will wear off, which means a Grave Chill from FY will allow him to escape from Ferrari. And he's a little concerned about what the Clap is capable of doing, though. So he just kept running it out. But a good engagement for IG. Now they're 3-1. And FY, oh, man. He actually went back into that. Now he's gonna get stunned up and killed off by Ferrari. Looks like in the meantime, we got Chen being chased down by Lycan Wolves. Super came in to help him off the Wolves. They're trying to get in front of Chuan, as Chuan's looking to deny himself up to Roshan. Attacks the big man, and he actually kills himself to Roshan. And Black, will he family on Ferrari? There's been a quick send up on, on Super. That was the end of Ferrari's ultimate. But Black, this can be a bigger kill if he can claim this one. It pushes the Dro Ranger even further ahead. The Viper will take the kill. That'll go towards the mech build for him. 
But the Drone Ranger's now up to level 7, running a hand of Midas. So we get 2-4. But the Brewmaster does go down. I, that fight, like, VG mid played it really well with that Fissure, but that Hastern on Panda just just decimated them anyways. He was able to, like, continue diving even after he got a really good Fissure block. Both uh, June and uh, Chisba got away with, like, one hit each. I mean, that could have gone horribly for IG. Those are just those fights where it's so close. If, like, a little bit, of, like, went different, it could have changed the course of the game. But I mean, it still was pretty even overall, especially since Panda uses all and died for the that, the visage. Oh, he also went power drive instead of going for a blink. He was like at 1300 and saved up, and he's just gonna go for a more tanky build and try and fight early. He's gonna try and find super at the moment. Fissure gonna buy some space, but it's actually gonna lock him in. June, he's gonna fire play over, but then with the drone ranger arrows with the fiber strike damage already, he'll be able to get a revenge kill into the bat rider. As Fenrir runs himself away, four heroes coming down to try and fight this one. Should also flag the fact that Lycan, now he's got a lot more space up on this top lane, sitting at 2.1k in the net worth. Not too shabby. And FY is given space in the bottom lane to find his level 6, while Black will farm up the infamous Mud Golems. But he's up to, ten, up to 1,000 gold now too, so he can finish up his, uh, his treads and get them out to him. Oh, Fenrir's in trouble here. Oh. The Fissure won't save him. There's support coming over from the side, but F1, he'll have to Grave Shield Ferrari and then keep him away. That allowed Fenrir to get himself into the tree line, the Troll Trap, unable to get in, in range. Twan doesn't even use it. Should... He, uh, oh, nuke. Oh, that's wow. a minimal damage. Seven Guys, life points he survives on. The Troll's trying to come in and catch out Fenrir. He traps up FY. Fenrir, Jukin, Jukin. Ah, oh, finishes it. Oh, my lord. 19 life points, he'll survive. He will not go down. <laughs> FY is saving his teammate, and I can't believe it, because it, it was the potential damage, it's 100 to 200. And Chorn, seven more points is all he needed in that. And I'm fairly certain that was like the minimal 100 damage. Chiss bug, Viper yeah, Strike, he's dead to middle lane. The damage yeah, output from Super is more than enough to do that before a TP can be completed. Especially with Hal. Yep. Top's getting dove low. He does have a Midas. Blast was also up, so he can't chase that. Yeah, without the Blink Dagger, he can't get... Oh, Ice, Ice, Ice. <laughs> he stops to farm for a moment. With the exorcism down too, it's a little bit of a concern, but they can't run in. Viper just picked up haste rune. He's running at top. Well, they can have a crack. They have no yet. vision of. Firefly, Firefly's gonna wear off. The uh, Lua is maybe gonna be their primary target. The one they really want to kill off, but there's no Viper strike. Oh, but what nice there is gear. is the wolves. There's actually the the fissure blocked him in perfectly. He'll cut through the tree line, but there's already too much damage taken with the nether tox and the wolves right behind him. Lua will go down the top lane. They go five five now. And familiars are up on the bottom lane too. So we should flank the fact that with a three level up in Black's aura, these tier one towers are now gonna be hunted by birds. So they go for bottom lane. They clamp him, but the gust from Black and making it so Ferrari can't follow up in. He just runs towards the front lines and then just gusted and has to wait. I'm really curious about those boots. He really needed that blink dagger, like, really badly. They, those are so important in this game, both on Bat and Panda, because to, like, jump the drow, any of those heroes, honestly, except for the Lycan. I mean, once the Bat gets his blink, thing, kill the Lycan too, but to jump the drow and Viper, I mean, now Viper has his mech, so it's really difficult. But if you can finish your blink and, like, kill the Viper some or the drow before they get their, like, tanky items up or their ability to escape, then that can make a huge difference to the course of the game. Black, get away, move away, oh, move no. away. He's got Gust, and he might want to consider using it on Ferrari. There's no split available, but the bird's now going to come in. Just watch Ferrari leave. They're escorting him off the premises. While up on top lane, Super's looking to dive, and they're going to just straight go on him. There's Exorcism, and he triggers it. This could be a big wait. He's going to die before it does any kind of damage. Ferrari gets instantly fished as he rhymes. So there's no straight clamp into Super. The Drunken Haze will slow him down, however, but there is still mech available. Ice 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 has got the walls in the back of him. Super triggers the mech. The Shackles will beat there, and actually send Ice 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 up into the air. More support's coming in. Chuan trying to keep Fender out of this fight at Super. He's almost got the damage to Chispug. The Wolf should be a fierce to jump. Now ahead of Gob, though. Chuan up at level 6. Chispug, he will survive for the moment but with Radiant's all of this is under I suppose black he's not really farming up but he did finish up his blink dagger 12 minutes into the game and that's still a 1-1 trade off a viper for a death prophet who did also use exorcism so there's no pushing power coming up from that 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, when Death Tower gets shut down like this early, it's... I mean, really bad, especially in when this Midas build. He has like no HP, no real way to escape. He's relying on his teammates to sort of save him, but he's always getting dove by himself. They need to really like stick together and have someone with him at all times. He needs to get this 11, they need to take Roshan with like the TP all or roster wards and Chen, and then just start trying to like 5 minute take some fights. The only problem is, you yeah. can just uh, solo kill the Bat Rider, while the T1 tower gets destroyed up. Chen will take one, Earthshaker takes the other, and Fenrir will lose his life in the mid. But the fact they just fed a solo kill to Black, he's hit level 11. It's a level 2 ulti, he rushed the Blink Dagger, so he's capable of either chasing or escaping. And with a level 2 ultimate, him bringing down towers is so easy to do. Especially when you got familiars up on the top lane. They're actually going to take the T1 tower up on the top lane too. There was Hal as well as the, uh, the uh, Dro Aura turned on. Uh, are they... They're trying to set up the push by and Fenner just going to camp behind Black to help protect them. I mean, June is so behind. You, if you have a bat and he doesn't have like... He's not even really that close to a blink dagger at this point. That's just... You can't have that happen against this type of lineup because they need to be applying pressure right now. Black is getting way too much, and like you said, if he gets really ahead like this, he's going to be a really big problem later in the game. The problem for June majorly is the fact that Sean has to take all the resources of the jungle, so he's incapable yeah. of farming up the Blink Dagger. Now he comes up to top lane, but it's it's a bat rider versus a Lycan, who is probably a hell of a lot more powerful. But you don't know when the when the familiar birds are going to come in, which they are. And they'll scout out all of IG moving in. The clan, a lot of damage into Fenrir. He won't be able to turn in time. Familiars drop down. Able to get a full stun off here. I think Black is considering going in. Super was definitely peeing it out. FY sitting on the side and Super moves forward. Just as the Familiars are about to come back up again. They'll have to back up. So they only get the Earthshaker for a full team movement to try and find a kill. Maybe they can take the tier 1 tower as well. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I think he's getting free farm top as well. And pushing it pretty hard. Radiant's bottom tower. Only have the help from the familiars here. Dyer's He's holding on to his power for the moment. And uh, speak of which, familiars now will arrive. June. Well, he's at a low, low way, and well, Hal is up, and June is down. That's the, the only way this will ever end. Soul assumption damage. They can mop up the rest of the creep wave. If they can keep that catapult alive, which they can't, I'd say they could push the tier two tower. Well, IG, they're going to look towards the tier 1 tower in middle lane. There's no quick way for them, but they can just battle. There's no backdoor regeneration. The only thing they can get is the fortification forced out. But they've lost their tier 2 tower on the top lane. Fortification or no fortification, that tower is gone. While Luo, with his exorcism, is trying to force the tier 2 tower in the bottom lane. With mass support, okay, it's full commitment to this. Does VG Gaming try and TP themselves back and defend? No way. <laughs> they don't have the type of lineups that can really TP on the towers like that and defend. And, and if, they ever, if you ever play against a team and they commit raw swords and DPL to a tower, I think you just give up that tower 99% of the time. Furry, they're all pinging him out. They want to try and get him here. I think they need the gust. They, the they, they, need, they, need, they need gust, and they also need that. Yeah, fissure to connect. Now, FY, familiars. First drop, second drop, and now the gust can actually silence him up. But a lot of support came in from Invictus Gaming. Shackles over on Super. He'll get his big charge off, and Chuan, the familiars are focusing him down the back lines of the Viper Strike onto the Shadow Shaman. The Wolf, as well as familiars, are trying to make sure that Chisberg, he will go down right now as the birds are moving forward. The blink back by June, the jump in by Ferrari, however, picking off the Earthshaker. So it's at this point a two for two. Ice by size, no ultimate available. The Gust comes in from Black, and he's looking to slow down Ferrari, keeping him silent, and there's no mana for his ultimate. The Familiar Birds are still sticking with it. The extra is done, but this army from Chorn is causing so many problems. But they will disengage now. Maybe the Wolves can catch out June. Yeah, they're not going to kill him, but he's just annoying him. Uh... Like, playing a support against this type of lineup is so frustrating. Chuan got melted in like two seconds. That was with him getting his ult off. And then they just like, they just click their summons on the Rasta and he can't do anything. I mean, they really need like, to try and kill off the birds and the like wolves is all, like weird as that sounds. If you're not being focused by them, the tank, like the more tanky heroes need to turn and try and kill them off, especially if they can death drop ult it. Once they probably get 16, they'll be able to kill the summons off a little bit better. Which is really important to protecting the supports. 
Battle in middle lane's about to begin. Ferrari. Just sending himself in. Death Prophet will end up getting that kill on the tower. And well, jump is over an FY. Familiars, one drop, two drop. They got the guards as well. Black gonna pump this damage in. The evasion helping him off. Ferrari just goes for the split. The silence over on Fenry. He'll never get that echo slam off. He's in a nice position for it, however. But FY up. Ten stick charges. The make charge as well. Turns with the soul surgeon damage. She's just killing a creep instead. Ferrari with a double kill right now. Super trapped up. The gust will come, but the ultimate from Death Prophet is doing all the work. The tier the 2 tower fall. will drop in the middle lane. At the same time, Ice 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 having nothing to do with it, looking to force out the tier 3 tower on the top. Yeah, he can't really do much there. They just got picked Radiant off, and I think uh, Super thought that that Yules was actually the Panda Yules, and then he got caught by the oh, Lasso. They got Fenrir. Black trying to come in, slowing down June with the gust. The Echo Slam trying to slow him down to Ferrari. Yes, he got caught by that silence. And now with no split, maybe Black can do the damage if he can stop getting the Drunken Brawler charges. He also needs that space to keep that ulti up. Black blink away. Maybe he doesn't. He stays in range with Super. And have to clean up the mass Serpent Wards here in the mid lane. That's easy, easy money. While up on the top lane, the tier 3 tower has brought down to half life. So both teams getting the same amount of damage in towards the tier 3 towers of their enemies. Dyer's bottom tower has Radiant fallen. Radiant tower. Or Radiant got the tower bottom as well for that. Um, still in favor of IG, I think. I would have liked to see them save Ross towards if possible so they could take Roshan Dyer's or contest it more evenly because they don't have death off at all now. I don't think they got time yeah. for this. Uh, I think we just got this really easily actually. They can't fight without Death Prophet all and Pandal and they know they're down for a little bit longer. They got 30 seconds on both and they have how like they're just <laughs> yeah, they melt it. <laughs> nice and quick. Nice and quick. That was huge actually. I, I think IG was a little too over eager there in that uh, mid fight and they just need to back off and try and contest that Roche on S5. Even though they killed it that quickly, I don't think that VG could have done that like under the pressure of a bat rider. So they just weren't in position to defend that though. They need to be ready before they were there, obviously, because they killed it in five seconds. Well, it looks like IG are coming out to fight again. They might try and force the mid lane. Because at the moment, you got FY backing up. This guy has now finished up his Akadim Scepter. So we're going to have Akadim's Familiars. Does he actually have Familiars on, on the uh, field right now? Uh, I believe they died, but yeah. so he's waiting for them to resummon. So, so he just resummons instantly then. Yep, there it is. So we have, uh, we have a level, level 4 one, Drone though. Ranger Aura with, uh, are <laughs> they only level 1, really? <laughs> okay. We're level 1 familiar. Okay, maybe, maybe not that great, but they're, they're still going to have uh, both, like, you, you got how you got you got the Drone Aura, and now you got three of the suckers. But I think the damage increase you get from that is going to be more than enough. Like and Wolves are causing problems on the bottom lane. They're watching Luo, but Ferrari jumps him. Double off the clamp and then instantly into the split before Black can do anything. Now he's going to get last through the Fissure. Not making this easy, but the new kit. Both Chuan as well as Chispug. Able to get the combination off, but now they hold Super in position. The buyback has to come out from the Drone Ranger. T being out, but actually went to the T2 tower for the top lane. Now on its side, size, the old one comes in. He kills the Chiss Bug. Super on the sidelines already. The Aegis Immortal will be expanded to the Echo Slam. Out from Fenrir. Not enough damage, especially when it's being repaired up by the Hand of God. Luo will finally go down. As they still are fighting underneath these mass Serpent Wars VG Gaming. They want Ferrari, they won't get him. He TP's out in time. Black was trying to pummel him down. Now Super will mop up these mass open wars. Chorm will escape out the bottom lane. They got a buyback on the Drow Ranger. So I got a funny feeling that the damage output that VG Gaming can still do, even though like there's money wasted on the Drow Ranger, they can still take the tier two tower in mid. Oh yeah, for sure. But once again, they, even though they had to use buyback, they burned Death Prophet ult. So even though she responds in 20 seconds, IG's fight is so weak until that ult comes back up. Uh, they do, they don't have Pandol either, oh, yeah. all their ults are down. Oh, IG has to fight around their ultimates. They could even, for, like, pressure high ground, I think, if they so choose. They might just, yeah, they're gonna rotate bot and get the tier 2 instead, though. Which I think they can also get for free, essentially. They're just trying to open up the map so Lycan can slip push more effectively. And try and, like, create space, because they don't really want it. I don't think they should have won that team fight. The Echo Slam was really good, and they <laughs> Death Prophet overextended a little bit too much. Well, they're coming. to play more defensively. Yeah. They're coming. Oh, they Blink can. out, but he never got the hit on Super. Oh, the Fission oh, now. Oh. June's in a lot of trouble. Familiar birds are already in the midst of it all. And they're going to back him up. The stun's over on Chuan. He can't help him out. There's no mech. There's no end of God. Ice 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 will go down, however. And it seems a lot of damage from Ferrari. Going to work. The Viper Strike out. Ferrari just trying to slow him down. 
Where is this drone ranger? Black has just failed. <laughs> he doesn't want anything to do with this. Yeah, they send the familiars to push in the middle lane, and they bail out saying, you know what? You're acceptable casualties of war. Well, I keep saying I don't think they can fight, but I'm not really thinking like about how strong Panda is against their heroes, even when he doesn't have his ult up. That drunken haze, like if he gets that on Drow or Viper, those heroes essentially do nothing. So he can counter like both of them if he just keeps like throwing them around on people. And then if he has his ult as well with Ags, he's gonna be able to like just put one, put like drunken haze on one, Yule's the other one, and he can shut down like all their damage essentially. So that's why they, if they can kill off the illusions, or not the illusions, the summons, like of the Visage Familiars and the Wolves, and then Yules and like Drunken Hades, the other heroes, the damage output on VG is actually incredibly low. They don't really have anything besides the right click. FY's revealing himself up on that top lane. I'm waiting for this draw aura to turn on. These birds just a solo kill up June. He's got Blink and Four Staff away. And the birds do still have their drop. Now the Blink lasts too. Bird's right in the back, boom, you'll fall staff down, and then the Crypt Swarm damage. He's got, well, Bird dropped down, has to get Ferrari as well as Chiss Bug. But he also lost one of his birds in the middle of that. And he's probably going to lose the other ones. IG yeah. are just camping it. And with the Firefly, they keep the vision up too. So all familiars have dropped. Ice, Ice, Ice going for what I believe is just going to be a counter push up mid lane. And I'm pretty IG sure just go for high ground here. You're talking about IG just high ground? Yeah. They're just going to ult it and drop wards on it. They, uh, they're so close to 69 Death Rover, though. That's actually a huge difference. They do have Ag Scepter on Shadow Shaman. They're actually following Ice as Ice middle right now. Like, they're just running at him. Well, I, I think they're anticipating his path. Once they realize those two heroes are there, which they do, the Observer Ward sees Ferrari. Uh, Shizbuck sees him, though. <laughs> he's trying to decide what he wants to do. He's like pretending like he's not interested, but he does have teammates around, so... Ah, oh, they, they, can't, they can't catch up to him. Even if Ferrari blinks to clap, you just have the like and ulti go before another stun can follow yeah. up. They needed the Barrator and they were trying to rotate him in, but... I think they thought that um, Isis was going to either go farm Ancients or walk out towards the Panda, and they were hoping back would catch him, but he just like turned around and ran through mid, so they kind of had to give up. Alright, so 16 on now. DP. Yeah. Yeah. Able to crack the 69 points into that level. And uh, with a VIP booster as well. Once the heart's up and running. Um, actually, I don't even think then it's going to be difficult to kill off the Death Prophet. For all the life points she gets, the damage output from VG Gaming is still very, very scary. Yeah, if they get their, like, all their damage dealers hitting him, he's going to die. But the thing is, it's they need, IG needs to make sure they don't allow that to happen. I mean, they have lots of tools to deal with it. They just have to make sure they're in proper positions to utilize it. Uh, I mean, Panda has Ags now, that's pretty big. It's because he can be Drunken Hazing during his ult and clapping, obviously, but Drunken Haze is so strong. The thing is, uh, Black has a Manta now. Uh, they still don't have Blink on Earthshaker. They really need that BKB up. Okay, there, yeah, going yeah, forward for this. This is an Ags ult. Jumping too. by Ferrari, goes on super. There's a quick silence. The Fear just stopping Ferrari for the moment. The last two overnight side size, but he's in one with the BKB up. They're gonna try and fight this Echo Slam will drop, but no one's dead just yet. The Hand of God healing everybody up. Super stunned up again. Now he'll trigger off his mech. Black needs a little bit more space. That's the almost gonna fall the Brulings. And he's just the, uh, they got the Earth and the Storm on left. Five to strike. Luo's gonna go down. This makes it a lot more easier for VG Game to try and fight this one, even though they've lost their range track. That melee still alive Ferrari back to his normal self the cold arrow is slowing him down he's able to evade a little bit here goes in for a clamp Fenrir totem stop it's even too late they've already got the kill on him but the mid race goes down IG throw their lives in order to do that but what they do achieve is a full mid racks advantage I still don't think that's enough to win though because the Lycan counter push with the drone ranger that's just able to destroy you completely once throws up we get a little bit more items up and running so this one isn't GG with just it. one racks not at all, especially since they just lost so many heroes for that. If they would have been able to do that like a little more smoothly, I think they could have done that and gotten away without losing. Maybe, and well, they would have lost someone probably, but maybe only one or two as opposed to four. That makes a big difference. Uh, they, because they still had the Ags Ross awards there, so they could have fought around that a little bit better and like not overextend as much. The Panda was doing a good job at zoning out, but the Death Prophet overextended a little bit, and they don't have any force. Well, they have just the Bat Force staff, and he like was initiating, so he couldn't use it for. Her. They really, I would have liked to see Chuan. I I don't know about the Ags pickup. I feel like 
I mean, these fights are pretty drawn out, so if he does get it, they he actually might be able to get two ults off in a fight, which will be huge. But I think, like, throughout more phases of the game, he would have been better off with the Forest, just because, like, if that TP gets ulted or something by the Viper, he can just force her out, and she'll be perfectly fine. But but if he does get the Ags, it could actually be game-changing, so... I think we'll see how it'll work either way. They, they really do need a Force, though. I think on maybe, like, the Shadow Shaman or something. Because they really, like, VG only has Fissure to stun. Then you can, if you can turn around and you get slowed by Visage or Viper or Drow, you just force them out and that person will be fine. So the DP and the Ags wards can just, like, siege down a Rax. And if the DP gets initiated on you, force her. With this Aegis, though, if they do the exact same thing they just did mid in another lane and they get another set of Raxes, I don't, I don't really think that, like, a Lycan can split push effectively against that. It'll be really hard for VG at that point. VG game, uh, IG just took uh, Roshan, completely uncontested, VG gaming didn't even come out of their base, and IG were very much aware of this. They've still left this uh, aggressive Observer Ward sitting inside the, ra the Radiant base. So with that, they could see everything they want to, but VG gaming are playing the patient game. They're waiting for IG to come in, the like can keep the split push going on the side with just its minions, the familiars do their work on the bottom lane, and eventually IG will just try and force out one of these lanes. And when they do, VG try and get a good positioning and try and fight it. Or if they can, get a good trade-off. And find their farm in the meantime. Yeah, and they are gonna smoke hard. up. I think that was spotted. I think that might have just been a little bit visible there. And IG they will just back pinged up. everyone. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're like, getting back. Get back, get back. <laughs> they're coming. Everyone retreat to the base and we'll fight there. The oh, familiars. No. They scout out Don't June. try and kill the familiars. They they see him up on top of the hill. Sean's already back in the base, and uh, well, Vici Gaming, oh, they furry. do find Ferrari outside the base, as well as June, but then they see all five players of Invictus Gaming here. And they don't have a creep wave, and they're still battling up against the Super Seismic oh, Creeps anyway. Oh, chase smoke. Mm. Difficult to do. They have a bat, though, so if they can get a good pull on someone, like, they can just kill that person and then push off of it. And he's literally just running at them. I think I said this is on here. They got him. Dragon back, Exorcism, the Fidget Run, buy him from space. But he is gone. Oh, I... Yeah. That They're might... just gonna run down mid now and then try and push into another Rax with the extra C9s. Oh, he's gonna be wall, gonna get Fenrir picking him up. Him this is a Paul and Lurch Shaker. He just picked up his Blink Dagger. Oh, I say Paul, nice. he, got his, he got his Blink out. You gotta remember that wasn't a Yule Scepter, that was a Brewmaster nice. send up. If it was a Yule, he would've took the damage and wouldn't have been able uh, to hit the ground. But I mean, uh, I mean, blink, blink Chizbug, away when you're on the ground. To send home, I think. Chizbug, no. Yeah, uh, Chorn probably just served him there. Oh well, it was dangerous. If he turned around and tried to send him home, and like he gets blown up anyways, and then he dies too, that's really bad. Mm -hmm. If just one of them dies, it's not that bad. So uh, it's just once. IG should be looking at high ground now. Like, there's, there's no lasso, there's no exorcism, there's no split. Panda God is yep, available. They're definitely but... doing that. Zeus still have an Aegis on Panda though. Yeah, that's true. But you've got everyone up for VG Gaming, where IG have no ultimates. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do? Our Brandon being a brawler on the front lines? That still should be enough to bring it, bring down the, uh, like, a counteract. The Drow Ranger Aura, that's she holding onto it for now. The Familiars will drop and come back up again. If he turns that Aura on with the Hal bonus, back up too. they're going to spring down this Tier 3 tower in, in a matter of moments. And then a Blink back away to safety. Super going to get stunned up. Man. The Mech and then Jereko Sam jumping. They're going to go for Luo. But remember, well, actually, no, he's got nothing left. There's no Aegis to protect him. The Aegis will be reclaimed. They've already got the kill on the Batrider. He'll buy back in the game. Shackles over on FY. We'll put Sam back to base. Trying to keep these heroes alive as long as they possibly can. That's now the last two. Catching out Super. They hold him and they attack from inside the base. The rest of VG Gaming are bailing out. They couldn't bring down the Tier 3 tower. IG successfully defending. But it did cost them a buyback on the Batrider. He can't afford that at this point. Yeah, that's a good trade for them for sure. And they have Exorcism up. Uh, Shadow Shaman wards are down for a while, but I, they can still slow Siege a base with just Exorcism without relying on the Shadow Shaman as well. Just if they have both up, it's like a really easy fight for them. At this point, they can either push and try and just Siege the base with that Prophet, or they can look for picks on Lycan. If they can pick Lycan off, he doesn't have buyback. And I think without Lycan, like, kind of running around and create space for them, PG's is just gonna get run over. Like if they can just focus solely on the Drow, because he's like their main source of damage at that point, they just blow up the Drow, they can kill off the Visage Birds at their leisure, and it's a pretty easy fight for them. But with Lycan like constantly running in and out, they have to be more afraid, and they have another target to worry about. Looks like they're just gonna do the slow siege though, which it's gonna oh they're just going straight forward because mid's pushed in. 
Yeah, no backdoor regeneration, so push it up. There's no fortification either to help VG Gaming defend this. And IG, uh, purposely actually not coming in too far. New familiar snap, and the fissure! Oh, that's big! Ferrari has gone straight away. The Aegis in mind. Aegis in water will be triggered. June with the drag back. He's able to push up Black and catch him out with the Chen Yu. The Centaur stomps. There's no buyback from the Dro Ranger. The Ice 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 into the BKB form. Searching for an opening, but he can't kill any of the Brulings off just yet. Super's BKB form also can be worn off. The Familiar's back in the fight, but they've all lost their Dro buff up. Five seconds on Chiswick Wards. He's trying to wait for it so he can get the racks guaranteed. Oh, he's got it, man. The war's dropped. And that's the melee down. Ferrari gonna get fish it up to jump in by Fenrir. Now Echo Slam of Babel sent up in towards the air by the Yule set for the drop. And Brewmaster in for the clamp. The main charge the familiar damage. It's gonna be up to kill a Ferrari before Chorn's able to send him back. Ice 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 might be trapped up for the moment, but now the Hulk Stomp by the War Stomp out. What am I talking about? The other thing, the Chan turned him out. They catch out two other heroes of IG. Super with a double kill. And the Crobulus is the only one to survive, but now it's a second Raxing, which has been done. And the Viper still dies the attack of the Shadow Shaman and Mass Serpent Wards, which are inside the base. Yeah, it's really hard for them to do anything at this point. They, all, they have buyback on every hero, but Batrider as well. So, uh, I don't know. Death Prophet's Assault will be up by the time they get to the base if they try and push now. And at this point, like... V or IG is if they don't have to use their buybacks here, they can actually just all in suicide that top racks and just like they don't have to care. If they buy back that this buyback defend the base and all the megas, there's no way they'd be going inside. And I think if they get drop it like well, as long as she doesn't get instantly like, okay, they've reversed yeah, he literally just the cast of the words of the top track top right now and they just suicide at them in the game. Mm -hmm. So I I don't know what they can do at this point. It, it, on IG. <laughs> they need to like keep on pressure, trying to like somehow pick IG apart before they can group up and keep the switch in. But I don't know if that's even possible series because they really don't want to like, pick off potential. Uh, this is a uh this is something to come up. Franklin and Masses more when they drop and some I actually said that you I think I have to die crazily because it protects the mass up more and lets them do the job. But if they don't do that and let them pay off, then maybe they end up sure. off. But at the same time, then he just waits another two minutes or so for the Russian to be called in with mass up and watch again. So just consistency. It looks It could be yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun and smoke. Maybe it's a bottom way to try and control this. The start just reads on the monster at a time anyway. But this, this has to be an all in. Like, if they're gonna go for this, they uh, And they can't, though. The top is still pushed out far enough. The flame's gonna reach their tier 4 towers before the BS should get any kind of advantage. And IG already backed up. Like, everyone's missing from the lanes. The people things push it. They know something's wrong. They rip up themselves and she had their own smoke. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, this is pretty much thing you can do at this point. You know that they're going for this five and let the train put someone off and then go for an all and push or something. And you can knock up to your base, wait like 30 seconds and put it safe, and they just kind of did the last one to it. Go off from them. They're just going to run. They're going to push in already. But slowly pushing, they can just run off the jar towards. They can even try and get it before this midweb dies. They're really gonna get it, but I think gonna make them turn. Yeah. They come to a jump into the back. That's a big right there. The Drogo Ranger, he doesn't have time again. Short by 360 gold. 70 for the Drogo Ranger. This is not what they want to have happen, especially if he's up in the walls. Yeah, he's out of the chest. Joy, Mega Brand, the lure is gonna go to the moment, but I'm still behind him. Now the Yorks have been giving more time to this. They have gone. Wolf Thing. Exorcism is gone. And the Silver Wars. Where are you? Where the <laughs> so, Ice is basically a pretty smooth there. He knew the way they were going to be able to defend that is if they didn't get the worst. He just let their brand. He jumped in again. The Fissure catched that bad rider at the same time. He's a little lion super. He's trying to make a move moment and got him. Ferrari in the sideline. That was like him. It's both of them. Hit the wall with a pin. They're just going to back up the Zapier head for the night. They say it's going to take the super or not. But it's Ferrari in the corner. The Fissure is just knocked out by the best stuff and wants to come up. Only one. And two. No, one. just one. Just one for now. This more time for Drake Ranger to respawn. It's so size as well as to find Mug Heal. VG Gaming, hope kept alive with just the fact that IG to be throwing their, their heroes a little bit too for the VG.
Yeah, they got too excited with the pickoff on back there and didn't like regroup and focus. And the panda was too far. I just had his beat and ran out the rod, and he like Chuan was forced to send him home, or else he just would have died. If you pick up a receptor or a blink, that would help him out a lot. But he sent off from both of those items, and yeah, he was out of fight at that point. He, he might have been able to like, suicide run at the racks though. I think he could have made it if he just would have run right at it. He kind of got scared of the lightning. Oh, I'm gonna flat to the fact that needs the boss to engage him for me without a ranger. Like, she's not involved at all. And that's one of the weaknesses of that hero. She's gonna blow up like that. Yeah. But now that the ranger has money for buyback, it might be possible. Uh, I, VG Gaming has to go out right now. And the wolves are coming over to see what's gonna happen with Roshan. Just one. Yep, this is the fourth Roshan now. Is it fourth or third? I mean, third. Uh, uh, I just make use and uh, well, who the bulls come in? And yeah, VG Gaming not most familiar to me too. They're only watching they the bottom lane. Not the bulls are not committing anything to it. They can see him beat him, beat him, but I'm right and light. He has to jump in by Bambian and the other duo. He's bringing down the board from the back from the sideline. Super, this could be big right now. VG Gaming is just top line. The go is protected by the uh, the corner is a little bit long and now Super. On the sidelines, the boss is going to be protection. I thought I thought it was another future. I'm gonna find some space that it is. I'm just gonna calm up. I thought I thought up. And everyone is back into the game with a familiar help off the ball. Need more space. Crystal ball has been for three heroes, but well, that boy didn't really have to use it, and he won't. He can find the piece of the four powers are on the seat. Radiant structures are fortified. Fenrir might have to try to delay them. Rishan is still going. The massive board on the deck. Henry could go for the hell of a little play, but it looks like he's going to give him a She's an edge of the cheese and And yeah, is he going to go? I'm just going to go there. You're talking about the uh, lure? Trying yeah. to make targets one? Yeah, it's a perfect look because he's having a sad time. <laughs> he's having a they're really focusing on Will Smart. I mean, he's a lot of damage against his world's end, but now he's like a lot of their control. They can't really kill him as well. Like, they're also going to this point. And for Mr. if you guys can hate it out, like I said, it reduces the damage heavily. It looks like they're just going to run a top of them, though. Yeah, they're laying this heavily back in. And they're just going to run a top. It's a butterfly to black. Let me see if it's a black now, right? It's kind of interesting. I think by that might actually be more of a in the full butterfly, but let's see. I was like we lost some frame rate during that last fight, but I don't know. I don't know. But uh, no. we're losing just a little frame rate. Looks like everything's stable again. Black, more money for him. I, I, I'm really so certain about him sacrificing my back. But... I suppose at this point it's not enough the kind of thing he needs to buy. He also needs to have. Yeah. It's, it's really weird seeing a drone range without having me. It wouldn't help in this game though at all. The big problem is the pirates just like running at him and don't actually have anything but if you're effectively stop it. So it's kind of like. It's really hard for Fenrir to get a good vision off for a pirate force out. It's unreliable and he has to be in position for all of them. And Bash has been like, or Blast is both. <laughs> Black's been like kinda up sometimes, just trying to like push out the creep waves or like stop them from like hitting the tower and just gets picked. There's nothing they can do about it. They're gonna go smoke around through the mid. Yeah, they yeah, they're gonna go for the drone or they're gonna go for the racks. Let's see. I think. They, like, they, the, they do have the fort, so if they can pull boards down on the drone, I don't think they can win a fight because they can't focus the boards in that extent. That's like as a G. It is, yeah. yeah, the front AC over on Lump is going to give me main for advantage. That means there's still no buyback variant. Buyback on a uh, Vine Massage and a Shaker. They're the ones that have sacrificed themselves at the start of this. And so, yeah, they're, just, they're pulling out again to now reinsert. I'm also wondering why uh, Paul is uh, currently holding the Jew. Uh, the gem. I think you want to give him the gem instead of holding. drop the bottle. <laughs> I do know he's from the bottle at the moment. Two charges in front of the wall. And just a hang is a good one for life. I mean, kinda. It depends. Eh, it's whatever. Well, 
after it, it's not gonna be a game changer. If you'd like, if one of them was 100 HP, that ain't my word. <laughs> I've been getting a big so defensive. While all this is going on, you still got Brewmaster farming up inside the jungle. Uh, that's making like Fitch's protocol cast. So yeah, yeah the Soul coming down, there's a lot more fun to be the kills for the Vitamin and Buffer. And PG can be getting super bored. They smoke directly past the level up. Now, it doesn't break, it doesn't break it's coming off. But Ferrari, it's an inventory. Does it have gem protection and benefit? It had a gem over an FI. If he waited a little bit longer, they could have potentially actually caught out Ferrari as he rotated up during the rest of his team. Yeah, there's other birds flying with them. It was too obvious. In fact, the jump already happened. Through Mars put the last over nine side ice. Beat it, beat up high side ice. Put the sticker for the mess up more down down. Some mean will be mad tricks. The beat came in too. We have to watch Black probably the closest to the mall. He's trying to get rid of these mad circles. No more pitch available. I think he'll put the most to the work. Two to the lower night triggers the back. I've already got the hero set. Yeah, just back up. They took a sort of Megas are off, and she gave me a slowly big They're just like all on. <laughs> That's the all on school right now. Push it, otherwise, we lose the game. And it's right. I mean, if they wait for exorcism and double work, and I have a hundred percent of thing they can do. Yep. So, we might as well go for the all on push here. The bind shovels, like, and the CG. This is the moment that you've been training for me to go. Ferris and the old boss can come back. As soon as they can do it, man. Come on. He's holding back for the moment. You got Ferrari still farming up over on the sideline. The Vibeck available uh, for RP. You've got Shadow Shum as well as the Yad. You want to set up a basically true rate her, uh, her exit. There's really not much more. Then again, you can also buy a straight refresh from my cat. 6.3k gold is currently on this death robot. And she has just a little bit of 4.5k and it's not It's a talent of evasion. Anything that she can do for a fire up against this, that's what they go for. Two for town. I order against the film. And they will be triggering it now. The howl's already gone. Ferrari looking to jump in through the river. They have sentry wall down. Like, actually using it just as a modern illusion. They still let the real Ferrari come in. They're focusing the rank down. Instead of going for two for town, Ferrari just bleeds first off. Jude, able to light two up on Super. Drag it from getting Henry. He will be out of the area at this fight. Four. Swing the one knife. Gets the hand of God off. Henry. It's up the way. Ferrari is in time. Familiar for all the up. Nimi just fuck. He's holding by his side position. Hardly able to move in. Exit them. Exit them. Gonna call. Almost the one. Slow on life. Now that's in fact. Dead to rights. Ferrari. Henry. Yeah. He can't have flags on the sideline. That's GG. No matter how long Super is trying, he cannot defend against his big replay. And it will be the winners in a going to pick this game in. They were definitely on the ropes. As they were able to take the first two games, but lost third and fourth in a convincing fashion in GG Gaming. But they hold the win and they, they had patience. More than anything else that game, they had patience.